These are the plaintiffs, Maharam Balkenli and Milos Popovic. Moharam says he parked his car on the streets of New York City and got two tickets. Then, two days later, the defendant towed it because he said the cops told him to. But he called the local police station and the car wasn't on the tow list, so he doesn't understand why the defendant towed it. They're suing for $5,000, the cost of the tow, plus missed work. This is the defendant, Peter Keene. He says the plaintiff Moharam is what he calls a gypsy. He sells cars with bogus plates off the street and then disappears. He tows a lot of these cars because the police keep an eye out for the cars and he does what the police tell him to do. Bottom line, they had a car on the street with a for sale sign on it, had tickets on the car because they didn't pay the meter, and the cops told him to tow it. End of story. He's accused of snatching a car off the street. The defendant has filed a countersuit for $700 for lost wages. All parties, please raise your right hand. What you are about to witness is real. The participants are not actors. They are actual litigants with a case pending in civil court. Both parties have agreed to drop their claims and have their cases settled here before Judge Marilyn Millian in our forum, the People's Court. You see it? Come to order, please. Litigants have been sworn, Your Honor. Thank you, Douglas. You're welcome, in. Okay, Muharram Balkanli? Yes, Your Majesty. Oh, I love Your Majesty. I love countries that say that. <laughs> um, and Milos Popovic? Yes. Okay, U.S. Index International Corporation is your company? U.S. Index. U.S. Index. You are suing VIP Auto Body, represented here by Peter Keene? Yes. For $5,000, according to you, your damages are in the $24,000 range for, according to you, illegally towing you. You have a counterclaim against him for $700, because if he's going to sue you for $4,700 in lost wages, you're going to sue him back for your driver and yours lost wages. Yes. Okay. I cannot wait to hear how you get to $24,000 um, over a tow. What yeah. happened? Um... Your Excellency, on oh, specific that time, I was trying to sell my car that I was using for corporation, my personal use. All right, so you have so, the car, and what kind of car is it? It's a Porsche Cayenne. So what happens? You leave the car, it's a Porsche Cayenne of what yeah. year? Also. 2006, and you leave it parked where? Parked on uh, Broadway and corner of Steinway, which is next to the Chase Bank. And there is in Astoria, in the camera. city where I was born. Right, I love Astoria. I call yeah. it Astoria Police, like Constantinopolis, Istanbul. Astoria, and it's Astoria Police. Police, because I think I it's don't the, know. It's got it's yeah. gotten much nicer since I used to live there. Yes. It was kind of uh, gritty when I lived there. Let's just yes. say that. Now it's a big firm bar, a bunch of nice places and stuff. <laughs> go, okay, go ahead. Um, so you left it parked on Stan, or as my mother always said, Estanway a Street, which is what I thought it was <laughs> called until I was in my 20s, Estanway a Street. As and how long had you left it parked there? Uh, three days, Your Honor. Why three days? I had an emergency with one of the food trucks that I own. This is my other company. So right. why was it there three whole days? Because I, my understanding is you're not allowed to keep it on the city streets for more than 48 hours? No, it's 10 days, no, Your Honor. I have all the regulations for road tow. I got the regulations for a car being left on the street. I think 72 hours. The police give you seven days, and then they go, they mark the tires. Okay. But this wasn't towed for that reason. This was towed because he had Virgin Island license plates on the car, uninsured, unregistered, and you know he's a dealer with a for sale sign on it. Wait, he, what do you mean he's a dealer with a for sale sign? He has a for sale sign on it. That Objection, car got, that Wait, car got five Objection. tickets that in car Astoria. What? Five tickets in that location, yeah. other location in Astoria. Okay, but I how many did the car have on it when you three towed it? Three tickets. How many? Yeah. Three. The one did you visually see that, or did your driver no, we, see that, or we, you know we it? We towed for the police department. So the police department scouted the car and saw the car was there for several days. It was ticketed for, I think, a meter, and it was ticketed for having a for sale sign on it. After the third day, the police office got sick and tired of looking at it and had it road towed. Road tow is a program with New York City for abandoned cars, stolen cars. 
improper registered car with a fake plate on it. That's why it was towed. They okay, but when you say that it had no registration and island plates, what, what vir- island are we talking about? Virgin Islands. Okay, well, it's you, not even in the United States. Oh, oh, well, listen to me. What were the tickets for? Uh, you, can for, you tell me, or are you just going to yeah. guess? Oh, like, I got do you a copy of it here. Yeah. I got a copy of all the tickets in the, in the neighborhood. There's five tickets. I don't want the neighborhood. I want the tickets that were <laughs> okay, on it when you towed. Okay, it's marked. It's marked right there. Okay. And I have the roto paperwork from the police department. Hold on, just slow down. What's failure to display Muni wreck? Uh, he was in a metered spot. You're supposed to put a, this, uh, the paper when you paid a meter right in the dashboard. Oh, Muni receipt, all yeah. right. Okay, and then there was a stack of tickets on it, but there was one ticket a day before, then the officer saw the car there for three days. Uh, the car was probably there a lot more than three days then. Well, he only but saw it But it said for vehicle for sale, dealer only. What does that mean? Uh, he, he has a for sale sign on it. Right. He's, what they do is we call them gypsies. What, now, what, just tell me what it means that you can't do that. If I'm this selling it, hold on. I saw I'm just, stop. What is okay. illegal? Putting a for sale sign for on my car? For sale sign on a car in New York City is illegal. Uh, you can't sell a car on the street in New York City. Are you uh, serious? Yeah, serious. Like I can't. That's why you got a ticket for that. No, that's what's astounding me. So you can't like, uh, like in Miami, people will spray paint on the back of their window. I can see that because <laughs> now they ticket. can't see out and they're driving like idiots. But that's a ticket. That's a ticket just for yeah, displaying yeah. that your car is for yeah. sale. Uh, I have a copy of the title front and back. This was a salvage car from Texas. State Farm paid out on it. It's abandoned on the New York City street. I have a copy How of it. How is it abandoned? Because it was there more than 48 hours? Yeah, it's not registered. It's not insured. Nothing. Fake plates on it. You have made a statement that the plates were false. Prove it. Right here. That's, I read it. That doesn't say the plates are false. No, does it, it says it just says the car's unregistered on the city the street. The car said what it says is that they were unable to find proof of registration in finest. What is finest? What is the program That's software the finest? That's the system they use when they run driver's they license. They use license when they run plates. driver's license where? Yes. New York City. Okay, so it's the New York driver's license, the New York uh, and the New York registration yeah. database, yeah, it's right? A database. That's all it means. Okay. It means that okay. All right. So it didn't have a false New York plate. It had a plate on it that didn't was... Didn't belong. Yeah. Well, it didn't belong depending on how long it's there. But the bottom line is that there is how many... T- is it, are you the driver? Do you, yes, can you Tom come on up? the driver. Oh, He's the driver or no? He's a tow driver. It gets towed. And according right. to you, it was towed because the police called you? Yes, the 114 police had called us. Okay. Uh, how do you log the... Um, did you remember how many tickets were on there? No, just a bunch. That's what I saw. A bunch. <laughs> yeah. well, how do you log or how do you record? Is there, is there a, a, a method of keeping track of the police phone call? The Department of Consumer Affairs makes us put in a log book when we get the call and when we show up on, on the scene. Then the officer meets us on the location and shows us the car to hook up. Okay, and did that happen in this case? Yes. Okay, and does the officer write anything? Yes. Let me see what the officer writes. So why are you suing him if the police decided to tell you? Why is it his fault? You see, it's a personal choice, Your Honor. It's a personal choice whether you want to feed your children. This is his job. I understand, Your Honor, but you know, if you make things as a Sufi, I look at the books. Bakara 136 says, make no discrimination between books, prophet, religion, and people. Make distinction being good all, all evil things. He had to choose. Dude, you're he not even it. there. He doesn't know anything except it's, for that your car is, it wasn't discriminating admit, against you. The police officer looks at a car, it's got Virgin Island plates, and he just does, is, he's like sick of it, writes tickets and calls them. What, what, what did they do wrong? But if so you now at, let's discuss the rest of your lawsuit, because your lawsuit is for 295, which is what somebody paid for the tow. Which one of you paid that for I the tow? I did pay it. All right. All right. Now, what you guys, you guys think that they are... A team that are selling cars? 100%. How do you know that? We call, listen. Uh, you know, Queens, wait, a team that are listen, selling cars on New York City streets? Yeah, in Queens, they're having a lot of problems in the 15, the 14, the 102, the 108. We call them gypsies. They sell cars on the street. They'll sell you a car with no warranty. They're supposed to warranty. This car's a salvage car. Right. No, you'll never know it's a salvage car. They'll take it and they'll register it for you, and you'll never know you bought a salvage car. The car, the car looked like a toilet bowl. 
I don't think you have any. All right. So now that's forty seven hundred dollars in lost wages. How do you figure? Um, on that day, Your Honor, it's about 1030. The car was stalled. I could not find it. And we had a meeting in Brooklyn at 130 with a lady who wanted to fix her bathroom, little bathroom renovation. OK. And uh, I could not make it because I didn't have the vehicle. And previous to that, three hours, you couldn't make it to Brooklyn in some other way. I didn't because because of this police department issue, they told my carpet truck, they told my construction truck, they told my food truck, oh. they told Who's my personal they? cars. The, him? No, or the, police the police department. Oh. Prior to that, so this was the end of the line. Punch my corporation, and I couldn't. I took to. So he has to pay you $4,700. Why? Because you didn't make it to an appointment three hours they, later? They took somebody else construction, Your Honor. If you have he all lost. these other vehicles that the city of New York, the city of New York apparently is yeah. angry with you or they're picking on you or something. They love me. I think I have, <laughs> I have Italian last name and Turkish Islamic last name. And I have this officer who's chasing me for my Mont Blanc that I did not get. You know, For so your what? Th th this is a, some issue. Welcome back to the People's Court. Harvey Levin here. So do you think tow truck companies are generally on the up and up or are they a little shady when it comes to towing when they shouldn't? I think they're a little shady. What do you say? I've had a situation where my car is actually towed and I was told that I was only going to get 300 or have to pay 300 and I ended up paying 900. Okay. What do you say? You've been sitting in the back quietly. Hi. <laughs> uh, I think so. I think it's... They're shady? Yes. Why? Uh, because I'm a girl so they kind of easy to cheat because I don't know. Well, have a knowledge. But if you're somebody like Ronda Rousey, you just put him in a headlock, <laughs> right? Going inside the courtroom. They're picking on you. They're picking so, on me. But you have all these other vehicles that they ended up uh, that they I ended up towing, but you had no way to get to Brooklyn in three I hours. I am not guarded. I didn't have no money. All right. I'm so being they owe very you forty-seven hundred for that. And what else? How else do you get to that? Those twenty-four thousand. Uh, the guy who bought the car assumed it because he gave me a partial payment. A week later, because they're not professional to tow you. Okay, hold on one second. When when he gave you a partial payment, how long after the tow? A it week was later. About three, four days later. Three or four days after you re after you got the the car back. I sold it. You sold it. It came back to me because the transmission is damaged. Okay. Tell me, what evidence do you have that the tow caused the damage? One of my truck, cargo truck, was towed by another company like this. They broke the drive shaft, the differential. Now it's in Mercedes. I got an estimate for 5,800, which I have to fix. Okay. And so your evidence of them doing something wrong is that in another case somebody else did. <laughs> because it's a okay. four-wheel drive. How did, you, how did you tow the Okay, the, we towed it. And he's not licensed. How did you okay. tow First, we're licensed. We're tow for the police department. We go with a few. Stop talking. Him. Gentlemen, we, stop we need talking. The stop talking. Go ahead. First of all, I got 35 years experience. He has 40 years in towing. Okay. So he knows how to tow. We send the flap it over. We have these go jacks that go under the, go under the yeah. wheels. And they go against the wheels. Your jack, it lifts the car up. Then the car gets slid onto the flatbed. No damage. So it was flatbed. It's impossible to damage the car. And then we roll it off and we take the go jacks off. It's not impossible, but you, well, but you uh, okay. So let me ask you a question. You're counterclaiming against them $700 for lost wages because of what? Well, he's suing me for his lost wages. Why can't I sue him? I'm over here today wasting a day here. Okay. And Tommy, I got to pay Tommy's salary too. Okay. Right to get right. Tommy back on the street. All right. <laughs> um, gentlemen, uh, do I have I, a question? No. I, I cannot tell you how out of gas you are on this case. You have a $295 tow that was ordered to be done to by the police department, and you are suing the tow company for $5,000 and claiming you're out $24,000. The tow company just does what the police say to do. Now, that doesn't mean they get to do it recklessly. If they damaged a car, you've got a case. So I need to see the evidence from an expert, not from your flapping gums, that they damaged your car in this tow. And if your evidence is, well, a tow truck once damaged a car in another tow, that's not evidence. When they're okay. dropping, Your Honor, because okay. of the damage that they caused. Do you have a cost. mechanic statement, yes or no? I will get it. It's no, in the, the, I got the Let me introduce yesterday. you. This is the black dress, this is the trial, and it's over. Verdict for the defendant. And as for your kind of claim against him, zero. It's just, you know, I know you did it just in retaliation. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you, Your Honor. Here he is. Uh, everybody's after you. I guess so. Okay, right next to him. 
but uh, you don't have any proof of this. Maybe, what's going on? Um, I think I've been uh, made a space code or something, racial discrimination, whatever it is. You think that's what's going on, really? I guess so. Well, you know, in the courtroom, you have to have the evidence. You know, you can't right. just come in and say something. You have to prove it. I think uh, maybe I should bring a case against the uh, officer that had the car towed, if I can obtain the copies, since in this court it was available, it should be given me also. Uh -huh. All right, That's so you're not done with this case yet. Right, you're going to keep fighting this thing. I think so. Keep Absolutely. fighting. Okay. Yes. All in favor, head that All right, way. Right. Thank you. All right, thank you very much. Thank you. All right, step on in here. Tommy, you come on in too, all right? All right, so it happen all the time here? Or? You know, we come across these guys. They're gypsies. They're selling cars on the street. He was trying to sell me the car when he came to my shop. He said he'd give it to me for 10000 so uh, you know, you, so that's not legal, right? Would he that offer to you to buy the car like that? No, it's not. Legal. Legal. It's not legal. But the car looks like a toilet bowl. It's a rat. I don't want to buy that. Uh huh. All right. Anything, Tommy? What do you got to say? No, we won. That's all that matters. I mean. Okay, Kurt, here's the deal. The defendant has the cover of the police authorizing the tow. If that happens, they're playing by the book. They can easily rely on the law.